coming to you from Davos 2022. I'm Anastasia Kinski and I'm here from VIT from Liberland. VIT, tell us about Liberland. Great to be with you, Anastasia. Uh, Liberland is a startup country. It's a startup country that is in Balkans. And uh, we are actually seven years old now. We were founded in 2015 on the birthday of Thomas Jefferson. And the main purpose was to invoke the spirit of American Revolution, do some innovation on the side of, of how states are run. And talk to us about that concept, American Revolution in Europe. It's already a bit of a tricky, uh, tricky idea. But um, in terms of nation state and, and the cultural identity, what are the values that you're really looking for? We really believe in freedom. We believe that free markets are the best mechanism how to, how to run the society. We believe that the state should be separated from economy, just like in past we saw the separation of the state and church. Uh, so we, we really would like to build something like new Singapore, like new crypto Singapore in Europe. And in terms of where we see the government being separated from certain parts of, of our um, organization of society, um, how do we make sure then that the economy is delivering to the people that, well, the, that the is best, surrounding it? Really the best way if the state doesn't intervene in the, in the economy. And you can see many examples around the world. Like Hong Kong was just a piece of rock and they lowered the taxes or Singapore got rid of customs. And in 20 years, you have a prosperous society, especially if the government doesn't step in and doesn't try to you know, make all sorts of activities or tell who can do something or who cannot. And if it can lower the taxes to bare minimum, you always see a very prosperous society within a decade. It's interesting to look at the different ways of establishing accountability in, in societies. Um, what do you think the role of blockchain is in this? Well, Blockchain really helps us to bring in radical transparency. So we're using blockchain, and I really believe we're six years ahead of our time uh, in terms of the nation state governance. We're using blockchain to run our Congress, run our Senate, the budgeting, as well as all the registries. Uh, it is going to be basically a tool for bureaucracy in Liberland, but we are kind of removing the bureaucrats from the equation. Well, certainly establishing a lot of efficiency, which yeah, is where a lot of the problem yeah. is bureaucracy may be, yeah, yeah. Um, even if the intentions are good. Uh, we saw um, here at Davos some conversations about uh, blockchain being used in voting in, in the EU Parliament um, and you know how governments can be embracing technology. Um, what do you think the key um, role of WEF here is in these conversations? What are you looking to get out of being here at WEF? I was quite happy to be able to be part of this uh, Side, official side event of, of Davos this year and uh, I think you know these uh, SDG goals the, the number 17 which we were actually part of uh, it's a great example of where Liberland can add value because this 17th goal actually the first point there is how governments can get more money from from the citizens basically and uh, Liberland is bringing in completely new perspective on that we want the taxes to be voluntary and we want that the, the citizens actually get something back from the state whenever they pay them. That's why we have introduced this system of merits. And I, I really believe that innovation on this, in this arena is long overdue, that uh, the states will have to transform in this mode sooner or later. And that it's natural that when people pay taxes, they should get something in return for paying them. Interesting point. Um, so you are the co-founder uh, co of Liberland yes. and you're the first president. Yes. Um, what does the next 10, 15 years look like um, and, and how does the rest of it unfold? I mean, we're, we're just getting out of this you know, first stage of development of Liberland. It took us a couple of years to finalize the constitution, build the urban plan and we're working with Zaha Hadid on, on a very nice concept how the city will be developed. Uh, we're gathering now almost close to a million supporters from all around the world to support Liberland in this next phase of development and transition to this fully blockchain governed country, the first decentralized autonomous government as we call it. It's interesting to me that there is an emphasis on the economic side being led by the private sector here and yet there's clearly another emphasis on public spaces and what the role of the public sector is because you're bringing in architects as brilliant as Zara Hadid architects and really making sure that the public space is an important one. It's great to see and I'm, I'm really excited to see more from you in Liverland. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much Anastasia, it was great being with you.